Behind the door of Amir Shapiro's lab, a menagerie of robots. There's the snake. It can be used for search and rescue to go underneath a collapsed building and look for survivors. The tumble bot. It is like a, a two links of the snake robot. It can move around, it can even climb the, a small stair. And this one that looks like an extra from Star Wars. We use it to, for research on a walking robot, on a, uh, developing algorithms for a four-legged robot to walk safely in rough terrain and very uneven terrain like boulders, like the edge of a, of a cliff. This one over here looks quite scary. What, what, what are these ones do? These are wall climbing robots. They, they are using magnets to climb on metal surfaces. They are used for inspection of the hull of the ship to see if there is no bomb or drug attached and to replace the divers. Many of the bots being built here are funded by and destined for Israel's military. Some are more impressive than others. Perhaps my favorite robot from Amir's lab, Snakey notwithstanding, is this. It's an all-terrain butler bot. It recognizes me using an Xbox Connect sensor, and then it will follow me wherever I go. Uh, you can use it to carry items. It's carrying my notepad right now. It can be used in the military, for example, to carry equipment. Alas, Amir's prototypes aren't for sale. And even though some are made of Lego and use remote controls, they're most definitely not toys. Elliot Gottkin, Bloomberg, Beersheba, Southern Israel.